Hey folks, it's Mark and Bob with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Hey, today we're taking a look at the super slim M-Walk handguards from Midwest Industries. You want to know more? Stick around. It's slick. You'll want to. This is my new favorite handguard, Bob. It is very svelte. It is very svelte. So this is the M-Lock Ultra Light Midwest Industries 12-inch handguard. And this particular handguard comes in at 189.95. It only weighs 8.2 ounces. It is ultra light. It is super skinny. It's M-Lock. It fits the hand just right. Uh, they've got some really cool features here. You know how I like M-Lock on the hand. Midwest Industries kicked that up a notch by they, they machine these little, little scallops in that just add the perfect amount of grip to this thing. And it makes you wonder, did they do that specifically for weight reduction or did they do that because ergonomically it feels incredible. It does, it feels really nice, it fits a hand. You know, I don't have any compulsion to stick a, a AFG on it, it just fits nice. This one is the 12 inch version, they make it in the 15 inch version, which sometimes I wish I maybe I would have got that because I like the aesthetics of, uh, of a hand card that comes all the way up here. But guess what, I saved extra weight by staying with the 12 inches. Uh, comes in black and FDE, right? No upcharge for the FDE. Yeah, you mentioned the the 12 inch and the 15. Uh, also, to note, it does come in a 10 and a half mo inch model as well. Right. That one's only 179.85. Yeah. The other cool thing about it is five quick detach mounts on it, and these are anti-rotational, which is pretty cool. So that allows your swivel to just rotate about that much. Right. And uh, and then you just press the button, and you can pull this out or rotate it and then it'll stay there. No, and so they integrated that into it. So it saves weight because you don't have to add a M-Lock adapter and then put a QD on. And it also adds these holes and it saves you money because you don't have to buy those adapters. Yeah. So that is slick. Uh, some of the things that uh, you might want to uh, look at, if you are looking to buy this particular handguard, you are gonna need a little bit of small gunsmithing you're gonna have to do to install it as with most of your you know, hand guards. Right, it's gonna need a low profile gas block and this one won't work with a piston gun because it is so slim and it's so tight, there's not enough room in there to, for all the piston workings. And of course, like any hand guard installation, it, this one would require the removal of your existing gas block so that you can get the barrel nut on. Yeah, and this did come with the, uh, the appropriate tool that works with this. That's the great thing about Midwest Industries. When you buy a Midwest Industries product, guess what? It came, it came with all the tools, including the nut that I needed for the, for the barrel nut installation. Yeah, that made that very nice. Yep. Uh, some other points are, you know, it is made in the USA and it does have a lifetime guarantee. It does. If there's only one minor caveat I have, uh, it would be that the shade is just slightly different than the Magpul FDE. But when I have it on a black receiver gun, they're far enough apart that I don't notice. And uh, I, it's, a, it's a great looking color as it is. It is, and uh, even though, like you mentioned, it is maybe just half a shade off, I think it looks uh, very slick on there. And no one's really gonna be really looking at that when they're looking at the overall appearance because you look at this and it, it looks like it's a sight to behold. It's something special. This isn't your, your regular uh, quad rail. <coughs> you know, this particular quad rail measures in at two and a half inches wide. Right, with, your, with, the, with the grip covers on it? Without the grip covers. Oh, really? So that adds even more. Well, if you looked at a side-by-side -side comparison, this one's a big old giant fatty, and this is, this is slim, slim. That's right. And so your, your outer dimensions on this, inch and a half, mm -hmm. you know, versus the two and a half inches. Uh, one thing that you'll note, though, with such a slim handguard, you're not going to be able to internally put in a suppressor. And if you're running like a Noveski KX3. Oh, right. You won't be able to put pig, the flame and pig recess You're not going to recess in. it in there. Right. Exactly. Which may influence your decision to stay with the 12 inches instead of going to the 15 inches also. Because you got to be aware of whatever muzzle device you're going to, if it's going to be recessed, you're going to have an issue. That's right. But uh, overall, it is a fantastic handguard. It is probably one of the best handguards that we have uh, in our stockpile here. I think it's the best. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. It's my favorite. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem equipping all of mine with this particular model of handguard. Yeah, this one is going to get the 10.5-inch model version. I, I will be saving up for that. That's yep. going to 
definitely add a whole new level of fun to that pistol. No, it really completed this build really well, and uh, and I really like it. It's a slick handguard. It does have two rail sections up here, so if you are running a backup site, it does have provisions, so you could put this uh, up there. Or if you had an optic setup that needed a little bit of real estate up on the rail, um, you have one, two, three extra slots here forward of the receiver that you could utilize. And, you know, it does come with the uh, five-slot M-lock rail. That does come with it. If you do want to put a rail on it, you know, you've got all sorts of places you can put your accessory, your flashlight, your laser, you know, whatever. I mean, yep. you can do all sorts of stuff. But as that's you right. mentioned, this one feels so good in your hands. You know, why ruin something that's perfect? Right. Exactly. No, it's a great setup. Uh, I think uh, Midwest Industries made a home run with this one. Yeah, it's and we saw it Shot Show this year. This was a very popular item. And there was even some manufacturers out there that are incorporating this handguard onto their very spendy rifles. Oh, exactly. That's a quality setup. Yes, it yep. is. They come complete with uh, with all of the Loctite. Where this secures to the barrel nut, you put on a healthy dose of the Loctite, and then you clamp this to the prescribed torque requirements, and then it sets up right on there. It comes with all the tools, all the everything. It's just slick. Yeah. Great product. If you're looking to put your AR-15 on a diet, the Midwest Industry Super Slim Lightweight m -Lock Handguard System is the only way to go. Two thumbs up. It's a great product. Two more from me. Hey, as always, shoot safe, shoot straight. You can't take back a bullet. You never want to wish that you could. And as always, folks, we'll catch you guys on the firing line. Thanks for watching.